my channel. My name is Kita. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about my hand a little bit. You guys have to bear with me because um, it's not easy to talk about it. I know um, here lately I have been showing my hand a lot in videos that I've been doing. Um, I'll insert a clip. TikTok and I kind of like showed my hand off to the world for the first time in probably ever. I'm not really big on showing it because um, I believe that it's more so like a comfort thing. You know, it's personal. And excuse my hair, y'all. In the vlog, if you watch the vlog that I'll have coming out on Sunday, you'll see that um, I kind of did have some trouble with my hair and me gripping or whatever but um okay this is my hand um i was born with this is called a cliff hand i was actually born like this i know a lot of people ask me um you know have you ever been in an accident or um like um was i ever doing anything to get it, my fingers cut off and you know I was actually born like this. Um, it runs down the jeans on my mom's side. My great, 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 great grandmother was born with webbed hands and webbed feet. So it just passed down to me in a different way. And um, it actually doesn't stop me from doing anything. Um, there might be certain things that I can't do, but you know, if anybody is around me, then you know, like if I can't open something, then I'll have, um, you know, somebody open it for me. If like I'm holding a plate or a bowl, you know, I don't have all my fingers, so um, I probably can't balance a plate or a bowl out, but you know, it's never not a problem for me to get any help. But um, as you can see, I can't really turn it around. That's another thing um, a lot of people don't know. My hand is actually like my arm is already turned. My hand is actually turned around already. So yeah, I can't turn it. That's the only thing. And um, I wish I could show y'all, but I have a nail and this is one whole thumb. And this is a pinky and it is, um, what is that called? It is double joint, so I can bend it back. <laughs> I know that was something that I had learned when I was a kid, because you know, so many people asked, and I did have x-rays when I was living in Seattle when I was younger, and you could see that, you know, this is a bone, and if I ever did have surgery, which I did have the opportunity before I turned 18, at the Shriners in Portland, Oregon, they were gonna fix it for free, but um i would that i would have had to have like fake hands and and i would have had to go back so get surgery what every 10 years i think and they're called prosthesis so yeah i didn't want to do that because my great great my great grandmother had told me before she passed away that you know i didn't have to change myself for nobody and i actually took that and ran with it I mean, because I'm normal just like everybody else. I just don't have the three fingers here. But, um, this is very big for me to be even talking about it and showing it because, um, I'll probably insert, insert, excuse me, some pictures of me when I take pictures and stuff. I kind of lean off to the side or I might hide it somewhere. If I'm gonna be 30 years old, you're coming soon. 
why not hide it right you know i feel like i don't need to hide it because you know there's no reason for me to i mean it is personal you know because if you ever see me in person majority of the time i might hide it and then i get people that be around me or be with me that be mad at me because i'm hiding my hand And growing up in school, it was hard because um, I had people talking about me. They would pick on me. You know, I would be the two-finger girl. Or I would be, um, what was that thing called? It. I think I might be saying it wrong. But yeah, I was always something. And yeah. I'm kind of nervous just talking about this. It's so crazy. But, um, I've gotten so many, like, inboxes. I got so many people telling me that they was proud of me for coming out and showing my hand. And so many people told me, or men have told me, you know, they like me even more, you know. Now that I had posted my hand, and I'm being more open about it because, um, you know, anybody can say, you know, if their hand was like that, they would never hide it. Well, being that person that when you have your hand like this, walking around 365, you know, it's like <laughs> they wouldn't know what it's like to, until they're actually in the situation, which I've met a girl with a hand exactly like mine. I think the only thing was she didn't have a nail on her pinky she had a nail on hers and i don't but her hand looks like exactly like mine and it was so crazy because um when i first met her and then i saw her again i watched her all night like i had saw her at the skating ring one night in kansas city we was at the a skating ring in north kansas city and when i saw her again i just watched her all night I was amazed because I was like, wow, there's somebody like me, which I've met some other people that have, you know, and some, something similar to mine, but not quite like mine. So for this, me to see somebody with a hand like mine, it was just like, wow, that's crazy. It was crazy to me. And I was just watching her like, I felt like I was in a, somebody else's shoes watching me. So I got to see how that. And when we finally got to talk, she told me um, um, just about the same things that I was saying. People picking and talking and thinking you can't do stuff. And, you know, I work in a nursing field, so a lot of people underestimate me for not being able to do what I can do. But my thing is, is that if I ever really need you, like really need help or anything, I'm going to come get you because majority of the time I'm going to do it by myself anyway. I don't really like helping. I mean, asking people for help. But um, I hope I'm not all over the place. I'm just really trying to be open because this is something new for me. And I feel like this year in 2021, I've been able to do that. You know, show the people that... Um, it's okay to be unique and different you know because god blessed me this way i feel like this is a blessing and hopefully me being so comfortable could help somebody else come out and feel comfortable about not hiding something that's unique about them um, i feel like that would be awesome for somebody else to be able to you know do that and um, I have a vlog coming out Sunday where, you know, I'm kind of just showing my hand and how I wash my hair and, you know, I just wanted to show you guys that, um, you know, I'm just like everybody else. It just seems different. <laughs> oh, and something else that, um is different is this arm is longer than this one so um and it is actually bigger than this one 
So like when I wear jackets or when I wear shirts and stuff, I might can fit it, but it might be tighter on one side, you know, one or the other sides. But you know, that becomes a problem. It's just I've I've been through a lot with my hand. Um, I be having girls be so intimidated by me, but I mean, I don't see why. You know, I feel like. A woman is beautiful you know in her own way and me being the way that I am I carry myself I've I had to learn how to be the way that I am so me being the way that I am personally should never intimidate somebody else but trust me it, it does and it um I've had people or, you know, men that didn't want to be with me or be seen with me because of my hand, especially in school, if they popular, you know, they feel like they, they're they popular. Why would I want to be seen with somebody like that, you know? I don't know. But um, I've met some grown men that it doesn't stop them, so they don't care. I'm just like them. You know, it's not like I'm an alien or something. <laughs> but... Um, when I posted my video on TikTok, because that's where I did the video. I did the video of me showing my hand. I got, oh my God, I had so many comments. It was so crazy. Oh my goodness. Like, these people don't even know me. And then for them to say these encouraging words, because, you know, if I had got to a point in my life where I, you know, I wasn't comfortable just hearing that you know would probably make me feel better because to me i feel like i'm this type of person which to them looking on the outside you know i'm just as unique and beautiful as somebody else you know um there is certain things that i don't like to do because i don't like people watching me but gradually within time you know that'll change i don't like to go to buffets because i feel like people are watching me um i really don't like to be nowhere in public if people are watching me especially when people are looking at me you know my first assumption is you're staring at my hand and then i try to avoid it you know not even pay it no mind but um gradually with time things will change because that is a big step for me to show my hand so i hope anybody that is watching this this is going to help you to be comfortable you know um, with whatever may be wrong with you you know you might have had an amputated arm or you know you might have not have enough fingers or you might have um a prosthesis leg or hand or whatever you know and you may not feel comfortable about being around the public to show you know but I hope that me being able to come out to the world like this can help somebody else so then you know it can just keep you know going so everybody could be comfortable you know we all could just think and have the same mindset that we're all unique and God loved us all the same he just made us a little bit different Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I try not to ramble too much. I can, you know, go into detail about certain things. I wanted to do a little short, sweet video because um, this definitely brings me in my comfort zone. But thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below um, if you ever met someone like me before. You know. What did you think? Or, you know, if you know someone in your family that's like that, how do they feel? Or, you know, comment down below and let me know what you think.